Hello everyone, got something a little bit different for you today. Snug pack, arctic sleeping mat. I've not seen much in the way of information about these and I was curious about it, so I went and bought one. When I say curious about it, what I actually mean is I've never actually perfected a sleeping system that I'm happy with. Because what I do, I always take this X-Bed Ultralight. This is the um, Silmat Ultralight 7. Um, absolutely love this. It gives me a nice air cushioning underneath. However, it's not enough for me. I like me comfort. I like me warmth. So what I also take, um, after a bit of trial and error, I ended up with one of these which is a snug pack self-inflating mat. And this has got a layer of foam in there. I think it's two and a half centimeters deep. So a combination of the two gives me a nice bit of comfort that I'm happy with. However, they're both quite delicate. So in order to have um, another layer underneath to prevent any sharp object coming through and puncturing them, and also to get extra insulation underneath me. I take a Thermarest Multimat or I've also got a Dutch Army. I think that's about 20 mil thick sleeping mat. And it, it's very bulky. So what I want to try and do is reduce the amount of bulk that I'm taking with me. Hence, that was the ultimate reason why I went and bought this and this is what I'm going to share with you today my first thoughts on it. I've lined all these up to give you a better understanding of what I'm talking about. Sleeping equipment before a bag takes up a lot of space so these two on their own that takes up a fair chunk in the backpack and then to add this onto it, this has to go onto the outside, you know, or Dutch Army one. You've got the idea, whatever mat you have, you know, if you've got one of those um, egg carton type mats, they're still gonna take up a lot of space. I want to reduce that. And hence, that's why I went with this. And I'm gonna try this out this year and um, see if it's actually any good. It will compress down. In fact, let's see how much it will compress down without ruining it. There you go. There's a reasonable amount of compression. And if I have to strap this onto the outside of my bag, then that's far less than I've got to carry uh, compared to that. The sides of this are velcroed together. There's a reason for that, but I think it's rather silly. But you can make your own judgment. I've put them out side by side for you, so you get an idea of the actual size. I'll put the thermarest on top. And that shows you your extra width that you've got with the snug pack mat. So essentially what you've got is a modern day sleeping mat with less of the bulk. Snug pack say that the width of this is 70 centimeters. Well, I've measured it and it's 68. Lengthwise, they say it's 185 centimetres, and when I measured it, it was 186. The weight stated is 560 grams. When I weighed it in the stuff sack, mine came out to 660 grams. So when you compare that to the Dutch army mat, you can see that there's a little bit of a weight saving. When I feel this, what it feels like is that inside there's a, a thick sheet of insulation so it's not like soft feel it is literally feels like there's a whole sheet of material and it's encased 
in the outer skin. What I'll do, I'll put a link to Snug Pack's website just so you can get all the details if you so choose. Right, I'm going to get my negatives out of the way with this first. We've got this Velcro, which is like hooks on one side, goes all the way down, 50% of it. And we've got eyes on the other, all the way down, on the other 50% of the mat. I just wanted to read out to you what it says on the Snug Pack website regarding the mat and the hook and loop system because I think it's absolute nonsense and I'll tell you why in a second. And it says you can combine two sleeping mats. By combining two mats using the hook and loop fasteners around the edges, you can create an emergency sleeping bag or a double layered sleeping mat. Right, the issue I've got with that is I wouldn't be carrying two. I would only ever be carrying one. So for them to say you can double up to as an emergency sleeping bag is absolute nonsense. Who's going to carry two of them around? It's just like marketing waffle as far as I'm concerned. If you think I'm talking nonsense, put something in the comments and let me know. Now the other issue I've got regarding making this into a makeshift emergency bag if you've got two of them is the width so what I've done for a demonstration I put my snug pack jungle blanket underneath and I've measured exactly 70 centimeters of spare to give you a demonstration of what it would be like if you had two of these mats and you're trying to make them into a sleeping bag There you go. So unless you're the size of a supermodel or a small child, under the age of about seven, you're gonna kind of struggle. Just remember that this material's a little bit stiffer as well. It's not gonna make a bag as such. I just wanted to show you that this is pretty much the way I plan on rolling this year. So, inflatable mat, foam mat, and then the snug pack underneath to give me that insulation. It's basically like a very thermal coat underneath. Now I know this setup isn't for everybody. Some people are quite happy. They'll just throw something thin on the ground, just have one of these say and they'd be more than happy to sleep on that. I'm at a certain age now where I want me comfort. I want to be going to sleep warm and I want to wake up warm. I don't want to be waking up in the middle of the night and I've got cold shoulders. You could also argue, well, why not do away with these two all together and buy yourself one of those nice thick X therms, I think they are from Thermarest. Well, I don't have the money. When I buy stuff, I use it and use it and use it, and I get the most out of it, and when it dies, then I upgrade. I just wanted to mention the build quality on this. The build quality is excellent. This looks like it's gonna last a long, long time. The stitching's good doesn't feel like it's going to come apart and like all snug pack equipment it's going to take some stick you don't have to treat it with kid gloves as it were i have actually tested this out i put it in my hammock and i put it underneath and it has kept the cold out so i know that the insulation works however if you're thinking of putting this in the hammock, it's far too narrow, really. You really want like an under quilt, which would be the ideal thing. Over the course of the year, I'm going to be using this and testing it out. And we shall see how well it works for me. Because like I say, this is probably not for everyone. So there you have it. That's my first thoughts on the Snug Pack Arctic Mat. 
If you've been looking at one of these and you was thinking of getting one, um, I hope the information I've given out today has kind of helped you a bit to decide one way or the other whether it's right for you. I find this a really interesting item and I'm looking forward to using it and letting you all know how I get on. Thanks for watching everybody. See you next time. Info shout out.